We're looking for location number three in the Dolomites of Italy. We're in this tiny little town called St. Magdalena and there's this epic shot of a church with a really steep steeple. The Dolomite Mountains is actually Sicita in the background. So I'm hoping that going up this one road here is going to take us closer to this church. Every now and then we can see the steeple of it, but finding this is unbelievably challenging. Wow, is it ever beautiful here? Just so Austria looking, even though it's Italy. Okay, we're getting closer, closer, closer. Out my window here, I know that this is where we're going to be shooting from tonight at sunset, but I'm pretty sure that this right turn is going to take me to the place. Now look straight ahead and look how awesome this place is. Like so incredibly picturesque. Okay, and we finally made it. It's so cool to see this place after looking at it on Google Maps, Google Images, and just trying to get a mental picture of it. And then suddenly, months later, after all this planning and research, here I am. So let's take a look at this church. It looks pretty classic. So the shot that we're looking for tonight at sunset is with this church in kind of the middle ground. And then from the vantage point that we're going to be at, we're going to see the Dolomites, that really rocky, craggy peak of Sasita. Now, if you want to see the video of Sasita, then click up here and you'll see our trip from Sasita. This is the view. Like, wow, what a stunner. So this is going to be the background of tonight's shot at sunset. Where we are with the steeple is the middle ground, and then there's also going to be foreground of just the rolling grassy fields with all the little houses on them. All right, so we have the first church location nailed down, and we're waiting until sunset for that one. But there's a second church location that's super famous in this area, and we're just walking up to it right now, and it's this tiny little orthodox looking church that's in the middle of a field with the Dolomite Mountains as a backdrop. You'll notice that we are the only photographers here because it's middle of the day. Terrible light for this type of photo, but we can't be two places at once. And for sunset tonight, we're gonna to be at the other church, the Santa Maddalena Church. And since it's so sunny, and since I have it with me, Let's put on the lens hood. And at 70 millimeters, it's just zoomed in perfectly so that the church is the foreground and the Rocky Mountains behind are the background. It's actually a really nice composition. So I've done a couple of things here. I shot some single images and then I threw the 200 millimeter lens on so that I could get a multi-row panorama which I think will look pretty cool, even though it's middle of the day type of light, but I'm not exactly coming back here anytime soon. So I think it's just wise to get as many different types of shots as you can while you're at the location. So church number two has been shot, so to speak, and now it's back to get the composition, find the right place to go for church number one. So even though it's still the middle of the day and the light is terrible, I don't exactly know where the good shooting spot is, so it's time to hike up here. So apparently, apparently, there's no parking anywhere around here and you have to walk. The thing is, it's really hot today, 33 degrees Celsius. I feel it. I was wondering how they cut the grass on these really steep slopes but that tractor back there is the answer. They have a huge block of concrete on the back just to weigh the thing down so it doesn't tumble down the slopes, but all the cut grass really looks cool when it's in nice rows. That's so cool. Sounds so good. So much history here. So I found the composition that I like. I like the way that the mountains in the foreground, the ones with trees on them, they kind of go down like a V and the village is at the bottom of the V and the church is basically in the middle. 
I think it looks great. This this may be a composition I go for at sunset tonight. I also like the fact that the steeple of the church doesn't have anything busy behind it. It's just kind of open grass behind it. So looking good. I'm going to take a daytime shot right now. So here's composition number two. I kind of like this because the church is on the left third. Maybe zoom out just a little bit, get some rolling hills in the foreground, kind of like this. So this is setup number two. And the location for this is right by this guy's farm. Now the problem here is that there's absolutely no parking anywhere on these roads. All these tiny single lane roads and there's just absolutely nowhere to pull over. So it's all a big hiking game. What I kind of like about this composition, so this is where I would have it in terms of left and right. See at the top where the rocky peaks meet the tree line. I like the framing there. And the church is maybe a little bit more left than I want it. So I should probably move down this road just a little bit more. Look at all those people there. But what I like about this composition is that the church is on its own and there's no building covering it up. And you can clearly see the full outline of that steeple. I'm liking this a lot. So it's almost sunset. The sun is just dipping behind this mountain to my left. It's just getting to that beautiful light time. But I think that the shot is going to be, instead of a blue hour shot, I think you need sun on that church building in order to make the shot look really cool. Probably in the next 15 minutes, we'll lose the sun off the church. So now's the time. So here's the pano and framing it in between those mountains like the V, the notch that's created with the green mountains, looking really good. So we have some nice warm light just on the tops of the mountains and with the neutral density filter, a graduated neutral density filter. If you look on the viewfinder here and see how it darkens just the tops of the mountains. So I'll leave it right about there and take the photo and check it and maybe a little dark, but it's looking really good. Just warming up nicely. So the sun just went down and it was one of those sunsets that's just in the dreams of every photographer. Even though there are no clouds in the sky, there was a beautiful warm light that started to creep up on those distant peaks. And funny enough, we were right at the top of those peaks at Sesita, where those grass fields were going up to the edge of the peaks. This is the other side of it right here. So I'm super happy with the types of photos that we got. Using that graduated neutral density filter was definitely the way to go because the peaks at the top were so brightly lit and the bottom was really dark. I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with it. If you wanna see our video about Sesita, then just click right here. See you in the next video.